<clears throat> okay, we're going to look at some slam bidding now. So we're going to look at board two. So 12, 14 points. We can't open one no trump. And if we're using the clubs and hearts, um, sorry, cold and hot taps, where we all, when we've got uh, four, 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 one. Well, we can't open one club because we've only got one um, club. So we're going to open one heart. And south passes. Now here, if we're playing fit shows, what we can do, we've got a four card heart support. Um, and we've also got five spades with the king queen. So what I've said about fit shows is with five card suit and enough values where we can play in three hearts or above. Okay, so that's the thing. We can play in three hearts or above. So here we're going to make a, a, a single jump. Okay, so a normal uh, bid would be one spade. So making a jump bid, we're going to bid two spades. So this now shows a five-card spade suit with two of the top three honours. Okay. Um, and four-card heart support. So north passes. 12, 13, 14. So now we've got a very good hand here, 14 count. So we're happy to go um, to game. Okay, so what we can do is we can bid three clubs now, which would be a Q bid. Okay, so that is underwriting game. Okay, we'll we make this three club bid. Now, this sounds very, very good. And when this hand Q bids three clubs, we now know that that is a singleton or avoiding clubs. Okay. Um, so all we've got to know about now is the aces. Okay, so we can just simply bid four no trumps now. We don't have to cube it. Okay, all we're interested in is the ace of diamonds, the ace of hearts, and the ace of spades. So if we're only interested in those cards, we've got a great bid for that. And that's Blackwood, so we can go straight there. We've no need to mess about by bidding four diamonds. That three club bid is basically good enough to set us on our way. So we bid four no trumps, and partner's got three aces. So five clubs will be zero aces. Five diamonds will be one ace. Five hearts will be two aces. Five spades will be three aces. And by the way, no, there's no shame in, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't do it like that at the table, okay? But there's no shame in sort of doing it in your head, taking your time and going through the steps and saying five clubs is none. So say it in your head, five clubs is zero, five diamonds is one, five hearts is two, five spades is three. Go up. You've got three aces, so five spades is three. Okay? And then West can simply now bid seven hearts with that holding, okay? Now, East might now actually rectify this because they know they've got partners got five spades and you've only got five, four hearts. You could actually rectify this and bid seven spades, okay, and feel like it's a safer contract because you've got a nine-card fit in the spade suit rather than uh, an eight-card fit in the heart suit, okay? So you might, as East, switch it and bid seven spades with this holding, all right? Um, let's have a look at board... Three, I think it is. Uh, no, board four I want to look at next. Right. 10, 11, 12. So this is a one no trump opening, weak no trump. North passes. Okay. And here we look at this hand, and all we're interested in is the ace of clubs, the ace of diamonds, and the ace of spades. So we can simply use Gerber. Okay. Four no trumps will be a quantitative bid. So four clubs is Gerber. That's the ace ass straight from one no trump. So pass. We've got no aces. So it's the next step. It's the first step. So the first step is always going to be zero. Okay, so we bid four diamonds. Pass. And then we simply sign off and bid four hearts. Okay. Now if partner had to come back one ace, we'd have still signed off in four hearts because we'd, we'd be missing two aces. All right, so there's no point in going to slam if we've got two aces off the top. But if partner comes back, Two aces, so in other words, if they bid four spades, then we would bid six hearts. And if partner comes back the magical three aces, to show three aces, we would then bid, um, we would probably actually bid seven no trumps actually now. Okay, with three aces, we'd probably bid seven no trumps. And hope the hearts break three, two, our partner's got the jack of hearts, okay? They could have three aces and the jack of hearts, let's say. Um, but yeah, here we've got no aces, so we're missing three aces. We're just going to play in four hearts. So that is the Gerber convention.
asking for aces after a one no trump opener or a two no trump opener. Okay, you can play it that. You can play it in other situations, but for now, I've just taught you that method. Okay, um, it can get a bit more complicated than that, and we don't want that, do we? <laughs> Um, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, five, eighteen counts. We can only open one spade here. Okay, not got enough tricks to open two clubs or anything like that. So we're going to open one spade. A nice hand. And partner's got ten, thirteen points. Okay, so we've got four card spade suit. We could go straight to four spades if we want. But again, why do that? Let's bid three diamonds first. Okay. We're showing a five card diamond suit. So this is a fit show. So we jump up. So we don't bid two diamonds. We bid three diamonds. We're showing a five card diamond suit with two of the top three honors. Okay. You can play it as meaning three of the top five honors as well if you wish to. But I think two out of the top three is good enough to be perfectly honest with you. So two out of the top three honors and four card spades support. Pass. Okay, so now we know that partner's got four spades, so that six and four is ten. So if we play the ace and king of spades, we've got no losers in spades. Hearts, we're missing the king of hearts, okay? So that's the key card we're missing. So this is all you've got to think about when you're slamming. You've just got to think, what fit have we got? What key cards are we missing? Is there a way to find them? Can we find out those key cards by keeping and keeping the bidding low at the same time? You know, if we find out if partner's not got a key card and we've gone too far in the bidding where well, we might end up going off then we can't really risk that okay so we know partner's got the ace and king of diamonds and four spades because this three diamond bid says they've got two of the top three honors and we've got one of the top three honors so they must have the other two so they must have the ace and the king so all we're concerned about knowing now really is the find out about the ace of clubs okay um Okay, we also know that partner's got five diamonds. So if partner's got five diamonds, they're going to have two extra diamonds, in which case we can throw two cards away. Now, if partner's got the ace of clubs, that caters for that four of clubs. And that's all we need in actual fact. The ace of clubs and the ace of king of diamonds and a five-card diamond suit means that we can get jettison the six of hearts. We're not going to lose it. <clears throat> so we can just go straight and bid four no trumps. Okay, Blackwood. Okay, so this is not quantitative, it's Blackwood, because we've agreed a suit, and they just answer the question. So again, five clubs is zero, five diamonds is one, five hearts is two, so we can bid five hearts. Pass. And now, knowing that, we've got ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, and the king of diamonds. Now, if we wanted, we can do an actual check, just to make sure that partner's got at least one king, okay? So we could bid five no trumps as a check. Okay, a little bit of a test. So partner now bids six clubs is none, six diamonds is one. So we show one king. And we're pretty certain that's the king of diamonds because they bid the three diamonds. So we should know that they've got the ace and king of diamonds and the ace of clubs. And uh, that should be enough for us to go to the seven level. So the question is now, do we bid seven spades or do we bid seven no trumps? Okay, so if if um, we're not going to lose any spades, we're going to have six spade tricks. Going to the ace of hearts is seven. Hopefully going to get five diamond tricks is 12. And the ace king of clubs, 14 top tricks, all right? We only need 13. So actually, we could just bid seven no trumps now. Okay. So board six. Okay, seven, eight, nine, 13 count. Gonna open one no trump. South passes, five, six, 10, 13, 16, 17, 19 count. So all concern about is whether partner's got 12. If partner's only got 12, we've only got 31 and we don't wanna be in the slam. If partner's got 14, then we want to go for slam. So going to go quantitative and bid four no trumps. It's no use finding about aces if partner's just got uh, three aces and nothing else because it's still going to be a struggle then to make the contract. So we want to find out if partner's got something extra. So we bid four no trumps quantitative. Now, eight, 10, 13 counts. So we're not maximum, but I will. what I will say here is we've got extra 10, 9, 8, 
We've got the ten of hearts and we've got the ten of clubs. We're also a four, three, two, four shape. So me personally, I would just go and bid six no trumps. Okay, and, and treat this as a maximum. If you don't want to do that, you'd have to bid five spades and sort of put it in partner's hand, put it back to partner. But what I would say, if you do that, okay, so if you did bid five no trumps on this hand and put it back to partner, I would say this is a bad 19 count, really, because you've got a four, three, three, three shape. It's a very flat hand, and this hand might then pass. Okay, so personally, I would have just bid six no trumps with this. I think it's a very good 13 count. I'd, I'd upgrade it to a 14 count, okay? You've got lots of chances of making uh, the, the grand slam with this holding. <clears throat> oh, dear. Okay, that's board six. I want to look at board seven and eight. Okay, 12, 16, 19 count. So here I'm going to open one diamond, pass, and just going to bid one heart, pass. Now with this hand, 19 count. If partner's got a six count, we want to be in game. So I'm just going to bid four hearts. Okay, so now I know partner's got a 19 count opposite my potential six, but I don't have six. Okay, I had 13. So now we've got 13 opposite a 19, we've got 32. And we've got a nine card heart pit. So we're definitely going to look at slam. So... I can just bid four no trumps now. Pass. Partner has got three aces. So again, go through it. Five clubs, none. So in your head, five clubs, none. Five diamonds, one. Five hearts, two. Five spades, three. No shame in doing that in your head. No shame in it at all. I, I, I will do it, okay? Lots of people do it. When you're going for a slam, you want to make sure that you counted up the right number of aces and it equates to the right bid. So don't be... You know, don't be don't be worried about looking a fool or anything like that. I'm I'm quite happy to do that. If you get the right bid, you know that reflects the amount of aces you got in hand. Then great, that's all that's important. Okay. So now we know partner's got three aces. Now we could do a check for kings. So we bid five no trumps. Again, the first answer is six clubs is zero and six diamonds is one. So we're going to bid six diamonds. Okay, so now we know partner's got three aces, okay, and the king of hearts. And we know they've got four hearts. Now, what else do we know about the hand? Well, if partner's open one diamond, and we're playing this clubs and hearts for four, 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 one, partner also must have five diamonds, okay? Because if they had, um, let's say they had four diamonds, four hearts, and four spades, then they should actually open one heart. So why have they opened one diamond? Well, that's because they've got five diamonds. So they must have five diamonds and four hearts. That means they've only got four cards in the black suits, which is two aces and two small ones, okay? So if we're having a look at this hand, partner's got the ace of diamonds, they've got the ace of clubs and the ace of spades. So we haven't got any losers in spades or clubs or diamonds. And if partner's got the king of hearts, and if they break two, two, we're going to make it, okay? And if partner's got the queen, we can make seven hearts. Okay, so a little bit of a gamble here. You could potentially bid seven hearts now rather than just bidding six hearts. Um, okay, so that's kind of the gamble here. Um, we also know that partner's got three aces. That's 12 points. And the king of hearts, that's, 12, that's 15 points. There's another four points knocking around. So partner's probably going to get have a, a couple of queens in there, okay? At least one queen. So um, any queen's going to be useful. Queen of spades, queen of clubs, queen of diamonds, all going to be useful cards to make extra tricks. And we can obviously rough spades or clubs as well. So seven hearts is not a bad punt, okay? Um, last board, board eight. Nine. Okay, so we're going to open one spade. Okay, so with five spades and five clubs, we're going to open one spade. Now, 11 count, we're just going to bid three spades. Okay, three spades. Okay, 10 to 12 points, limit raise with four card spade support. Now, we could cube bid here and bid four clubs. 
See if partner's got anything in diamonds. Okay, so four clubs, pass. Partner bids four diamonds. Okay, we could just go straight to four no trumps now. Just as a, we can just bid that as a check. We don't really want to bid four hearts now because it's not really helping us. Okay, but we can bid four no trumps. Pass. Partner now bids. Okay, five clubs none, five diamonds one, five hearts two, five hearts. So now we know partner's got two aces. And now all we need to find out is partner's got another king. Now it doesn't matter which king they've got. If they've got the king of hearts, we can use that to throw away the diamond. If they've got the king of diamonds, then that's okay as well. Okay, so five no trumps, ask for kings. And all we want to hear is one king. And they've got it. Six clubs is none, six diamonds is one. Okay, let's get the right person to bid it. Okay. Six diamonds, one king. And now with the nine card fit in spades and ace, king, queen of spades, we know we've got ace, king, ace in the red suits. And we should be able to rough, say, a fourth club if we need to. Partner may even have the jack of clubs, which would be a miracle if they have that. Okay, but we can bid um, seven spades now. Okay, seven spades. And that would end the auction there. Okay, so... That's a bit of slam bidding with some interesting hands. A bit of key bidding, a bit of quantitative, a bit of Gerber, a bit of fit shows, a bit of Blackwood. Um, and there we have it. Okay. Hope you found that useful.